I know we are all heartbroken that Michelle's life was cut so short, but what does make me happy is that I know Michelle lived her life to the fullest. Michelle, we will miss you deeply and know that you will always be in our hearts and memories. express our condolences because the way we carry out Michelle's legacy is not just here on one night with candles and kind words, but in our actions. We need to make sure that we are working to demand equity and justice and answers. There are too many people especially in the Asian American community, who are terrified, terrified to walk the streets, terrified to go to the grocery store, to take the subways, to leave their homes. Death of Michelle ripped at my heart to see what happened to her and to see what has happened in our city month after month or what has happened to the AAPI community and sitting in meetings and meeting family members and seniors and elders who are afraid to walk the street, afraid to do the daily interactions that they've done so many years in this great city. I'm recommitted to ensure that this will not happen in our city. We have to do this together. It's time for us to come together as a city and not allow these issues to take place. Obviously, like, a little disconcerting because, you know, I don't always, like, pay attention if I have, like, a beanie on or something. I have no peripheral vision. Um, but I do feel like, as a woman in general, I'm already a little bit, like, aware of people when they are a little bit close to my space. I've lived in the city my whole life, and I've heard about these kinds of stories, and they're always scary, and I think we shouldn't you know, always be conscious on the subway. 